When Rita and I first began coming to Guatemala with short-term missions teams, we were shocked by the poverty that we saw. So many relationships that are broken, fathers that leave and start a new family, and so children are raised in homes that aren't complete. It's been cycles of that for generations. So we have parents who never learned to love their children because they weren't parented and they weren't loved. It's the little things that really touched my heart. Seeing kids walk around in rubber boots that were all torn and wearing no socks. And that's what they were using uh, to, to go into the fields or do the, go and gather wood or collect water for the family. Los niños empiezan a trabajar, eh, empiezan casi ya una vida de adulto, entonces ya no existe una relación, las familias se quiebran, como ella decía. For many of these parents, it doesn't make a lot of sense to send them to school because that's taking them uh, off the field where they could be helping mom or dad earn some money. And so those few quetzal a day will mean uh, a meal. Any program can offer food, and there's lots of them that do that. And any program can offer studies. Impact Ministries provides all these things to the kids, but once they get there, what they experience is Jesus' love on a daily basis from their teachers who are loving on them and um, being patient with them and encouraging them in a way that maybe they don't get it at home at all. So um, knowing that they're, they're coming somewhere safe. My name is uh, Kyle McIntyre and I'm uh, down here in Guatemala from Vancouver. One of the things we got to do here was uh, visit our sponsor children, you know, and, and uh, my family, we've decided to sponsor and we, we picked a young girl, just a few months younger than our, our youngest. And uh, we had the opportunity to go into her home today. And we met her and her mother and her grandmother and it was amazing just sitting with them and uh, listening to them tell their stories. And, what it means for them to have their children coming to these schools and uh, learning about Jesus and bringing it back into the homes. We've got to work with a bunch of uh, men who were students at these schools and uh, the one just told me how important it was and how good he felt when he got sponsored and, and he said that it just made him feel special and you know it's uh, as a North American, we think, oh, all we're doing is throwing money at a, at a, at a problem and, and no one's going to care, but they really do. And it means so much to them. You know, you see tears in their eyes, um, but they're tears of happiness. And they're just uh, so grateful that we care enough to give their, their children opportunities that they never had. You know, one of the things we're going to get to do is, you know, my daughter's going to send letters to our, our sponsor uh, daughter and she's going to send letters back. Desperte y una voz de amor me ayudó en el alma y me consoló, secó todas mis lágrimas. Solo sigue a tu madre, siempre que estás.